Thanks for joining. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, thanks for hanging around for a second time. I know it's not Sunday, but we're gonna pretend um, that it is Sunday on Tuesday. Thanks for being patient with me. I know um, this whole thing is about consistency and I really want to be consistent, um, but I did go out of town over the weekend and made some music which is really good for my brain, healthy for my heart. Um, I'm doing a feature um, on a song for a friend's band. I feel like I can't really talk about it further because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to and I'm not sure if that's my information to say. So we're going to talk about other things. Um, starting with this new Alex G record. It's very good. We love it. Um, what do you guys think? I was thinking about having like, while we talk and go through questions, because I recorded your questions from last week, um, we could have some background music or I can just be silent and you can just hear me talk. What do you think? Okay. A little background music's good. Um, this thing's also really working. So I ordered from my altar. Um, I ordered these coals, hot coals, to burn incense. My friend Cassie has this really lovely company called High Sun Low Moon. Um, you've probably seen it before. It looks like this. It's very sweet packaging. Yes. Um, but I haven't seen these hot coals since I was like 16 and doing hookah. You know what I mean? So, but it really works. It's hot as shit. And it smells really great in here. Um, so, for those of you that were here uh, last Sunday, I feel like it's probably good to kind of just revisit why I'm doing this. Why I'm doing this, what's at the center of my altar, why it's important to me and meaningful, and what the sentiments are. Um, and yeah, so I'm choosing to do Sunday in Heaven at the altar. Um, it just feels like a really simple, accessible, attainable way for me to check in both with myself weekly over the music that I've released and with you weekly because, you know, it's so, it's a weird time to release a record after waiting so long. Um, it's a, it can be a difficult relationship to just sort of place that and figure out where that kind of exists in my 
everyday life, you know, there's, there's been a lot of waiting leading up to this moment, and now, you know, you can look at it like the moments past, October 14th, the day that the record was released, or there's no end and there's no beginning. Um, and so this is really helping me put some structure around this time. So thank you for being part of it with me. Um, so at the center of my altar, we have Venus, which is the goddess of love. And I made a very sweet, very kindergarten level garland of marigolds um, to represent the birth of Venus at the center of my altar. Um, she's watching over us with the eyes of love as we go through each week and I bring one item to the altar. That's the idea. So, um, as promised, um, we talked last week about what song we would focus on this time around. And Am I Still Your Baby is what we're going to talk about. And yes, Brandon, you're right. She is also known as Aphrodite. It's the same thing. Greek, Roman, they're connected. And um, just depending on which you prefer. Um, Venus, I feel like, is a little bit more westernized. Like, you know, we all love that Botticelli image, birth of Venus. I feel like it's a bit more recognizable. But you're right, it's also Aphrodite. Mm. So, with Am I Still Your Baby, the center of our focus, um, let's get into it. It was cool to read your guys' responses to the song, um, and kind of, I, I put it out there just to kind of see what you guys would come back with as far as um, what you felt Am I Still Your Baby was connected to, um, what item or what color or what sensory, what sensory item, smell, taste, color. Um, and I kept getting blue, blue kept coming up. And um, I have to say, I agree. Um, that song ha is very referential to California, PCH um, specifically. And I, found in the yard a really beautiful blue feather this past week that I decided to put on my altar in honor of Am I Still Your Baby? It's a blue jay feather. And if you guys are familiar with blue jays, um, they're actually a very aggressive bird, um, which I kind of like for Am I Still Your Baby because um, the blue that I feel from Am I Still Your Baby definitely um, has some kick to it. And, you know, this also symbolizes to me taking flight in this blue space. So this felt really appropriate. Um, and then I also found this. Shout out to uh, Tyler. You were somebody that also um, dropped into my direct messages and said to check out Uncommon Objects in Austin, and I did, and it was amazing. I spent like three hours there, and uh, I think they were annoyed with me. I was like, where do I find all of the bunny items? And they were like, um, I don't know. And I was like, what about mushrooms? And they were like, oh, you're on a mission. Like, what's going on? I was like, it's something really top secret, although you can join on Sunday if you want. Um, okay, so, this I found um, at Uncommon Objects in Austin, and uh, it's sort of this uh, transitional color from blue, from blue to green, and I love it. It's uh, also kind of, you know, has this like Aphrodite aesthetic to it, very Roman. Um, and I like the idea of um, coming in blue and growing into green with a more fertile color of life. Because um, the song essentially is a post-breakup song. Fucking, you know. Uh, and then we have also sunflowers on the altar that uh, symbolize confidence. So that's that. Um, 
that's kind of going through the objects. We'll do this every week. So you guys can kind of sit in for my show and tell. <laughs> I'm having a good time, so. Um, I have some questions that I wrote down and I'm prepared for this time because if you remember, last time I was like asking you questions and I was like staring into the camera like this. And then I was asking you and I was asking you what you wanted to ask me and then I just wasn't answering anything. <laughs> So I fixed that problem, and I have your questions here. Uh, the first question is from Lindsay Henning, and she asks, how do you get into the headspace to write, and how do you prepare? Uh, if I'm gonna be totally honest, I am kind of obsessive compulsive when it comes to my space and organization and cleanliness. I know, it's not the sexiest thing. I mean, maybe it is sexy. It's just not the most, like, romantic thing when talking about songwriting. <laughs> it's just, like, a little bit more tactile, and truly, I, um, I really love a clean space, and to remove the clutter from my environment is really important before starting um, anything new. So, usually, if I'm, if I'm feeling it, um, I will clean my space first and then write music. I like the aesthetic of and visual appearance of organization, even if it's in like a small space, um, just as long as I feel like, okay, everything is put away and now I can be creative in this more headspace, which helps me. So Peyton, this is the next question. Um, what's inspiring you in your personal life? You seem to be so at peace. How do you do it? <laughs> oh man. Um, well, lately, what's been inspiring me and making me feel at peace? I chose this question um, not because it is also kind of like a semi compliment. She's like, you seem so chill. You're so chill. Um, I'm chill. I'm also not chill. I'm like a, I'm, I'm a mixture of both, but what's inspiring me right now, just as, um, an approach to my every day and checking in with myself and goals I have going into next year and not getting overwhelmed, um, cause I can get really ahead of myself is to try in the smallest of ways to not or two, to take the path of least resistance. Um, and that can mean a lot of different things. For me, um, I have a lot of different projects going all the time, my own project, things I'm working on on the side. Um, you know, continuing to work and filling your time is really important, but I do feel like some things open up to you and others do not. And being really in touch with um, what feels like the most natural and not forcing things to be a certain way that you think they should be. Um, and I guess sort of practicing the art of like letting go in the smallest of ways all the time. That can be really hard for me. So, but it has been peaceful to sort of um, continue jiggling doorknobs, you know, and just seeing which one is the loosest one. Um, next question. Um, from Ben. How did you film the gas station bathroom scene from the radio silence video and did you have to ask permission? I chose this because it's a really sweet story. Um, shout out to Alex Kasnoff who I wrote radio silence with who is a great friend and collaborator and he also shot this music video with me and we shot it all on iPhone and kind of had a plan but it was like top of the week on a Tuesday that I went over to his house thinking that we were maybe gonna write another song and he was like, well, you know, we just put out radio silence and it's really good. Like we should put energy into that. And I was like, I agree. I'm also moving and making a music video seems really hard. So like, what are we gonna do? Super last minute. And he came, he came with this concept that was really great and um, seemed just fun and he's, very talented and um he kind of like took the reins on that a little bit and went to hollywood boulevard and found a bunny costume 
and we just wanted to make this kind of like Donnie Darko music video that I feel like we actually accomplished, but there were, uh, no, there's no permission for anything. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, we went to an in and out in the valley and we were eating burgers off the back of my car and uh, we still we still needed some footage to finish the video and um, the the bathroom was like kind of grungy and and wonderful looking and Alex just like came up to me after going to the bathroom and was like do you want to shoot in the bathroom and like kind of is, it's kind of sick and so we did and that's how that scene was born so that is thinking and hopping on your toes for that video. Um, I feel like at this point it's like when I play a song, something like that. You guys cool with that? Mm. Hey, Jesse Hill. Um, again, I'm really loving these questions and really loving the way this is working. Um, if you're, if you are coming for a second time and you're revisiting, um, this is running a lot smoother. If this is your first time, congratulations. This is a really lovely first experience. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do it the same way where you can just go into the DMs and, um, ask questions and, and we'll talk and I will add items. Let's choose a song for next week. Think about it, and let's talk about it after I play Am I Still Your Baby. I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanted to show you before I start. I get so excited and overwhelmed. I'm like, music? Stuff? Dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll do that after. So. This is good. I like this. This is a great idea. Um, next weekend on Sunday, let's do radio silence. For fucking sure. I mean, duh. We just talked about it for like a good solid few minutes, right? Um, radio silence. That's the choice. And it has been said before the altar, and it cannot be taken back. So, Am I Still Your Baby? Um, the song was very cathartic to write. It was like the sweetest way to say, fuck you. And... What's that, Mitzi? What's that? She got a bath today and she's really tired. I don't know about your guys' dogs, but it really stresses her out. <laughs> All right.
also love the feather reference, right? Our future is the sky, our past is blue. When the currents of life make you remember me, am I still your baby? Am I still your baby? Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Mitzi's over it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I think that... Um, I think this is going really well. I think we really like each other. I think there's chemistry here. I think there's something here that we should continue giving our time and energy to. So... Next week on Sunday, I'm not going anywhere, I promise. Not really for the rest of the year. Um, I'm taking my shirt off for extra hearts at the end. So give those to me, please. Um, yeah, radio silence. Sunday. Please tune in. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. For real. And I'll see you guys next week.